everyone uh, this is Eliko here I am here with a happy mail video I just received a huge and I mean huge box from Germany uh, look at the size of this it's bigger than my head um, this is from Regina and uh, her channel here on YouTube is turquoise thoughts and we did a journal swap together so the only thing I know that's in, supposed to be in the box is my journal but other than that I have no idea what's inside it so we can find it out together um, if you wanted to join me see you soon all right uh, here I am again basically I just did a surgery on this package and now it's ready to be open and uh, I have no idea again what's inside it still oh one more thing you can see that I have no idea what's inside it but we'll see soon all right here we go oh my goodness this is absolutely incredible oh my goodness Oh, this is the letter. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm absolutely uh, sure this is her letter for me. And this cool little tag. <laughs> Look at the paper there, this is funky. Oh my gosh, this is so sweet. This is lovely, look at that. It's a cute tape, fits with the paper, perfect choice. Should be opening it faster, is that right guys? Oh, this is so cool. Love these buttons. Oh my goodness. Oh, I have to move my box from here. This is... Oh my goodness. Is it a zigzag fold journal? On fabric? Did I just pull it apart? Sorry. How is this one going to open? Okay, I totally ruined that one. I will just need to stick it back a bit harder. No? No, they don't stick together. Um, I'm gonna just uh, message you to see how to open that. But this is so cool. It's a tag journal. Get this, guys. Gatsby gel. I have no idea what this is, but these are lovely. Little flowers and bling. And this one. And then the back cover. And of course it's turquoise. But look at the way the fabric is holding it together. It's like a huge ribbon. Regina, this is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, this is so cool. And I love these solutions that you have for closures with these uh, simple oh and it's wire tied together so it doesn't fray these are simple buttons but they are so incredible and I love that fabric in the back oh my gosh this is beautiful and this is just the first little thing in the package what else am I going to be getting ooh Is this some kind of starch lace or for flowers? Oh my goodness. Mm. I'm going to some find some ribbons. Oh that's cute. These are colored, that's really nice. And then Rick Crack is one of my favorite ones. Alright, I'm not even sure how to put these things down here. Is it 
old time coloring page or just prints from a book. Oh. I don't understand the word, but this is really beautiful. Look at the letters there. Book pages. Kinderland. Oh. This is lovely. All right, this must be um, an old poem. Oh, I forgot. What are those things called in the mother, mother goose? Um, poems for children. That is gorgeous illustration itself. Ooh, tissue paper. It's a Vasarani design. Cool. <laughs> this is so awesome. Tattoo. <laughs> tattoo tissue paper. Oh my gosh. Or I think it's tattoo. This is my favorite Hungarian artist. Hungarian born, I'm sorry. Oh, this is interesting. Can you imagine this embedded in anything like gesso, gel medium? Look at this fine hair texture. Oh, this is really cool. I don't want to take it off. I don't want to lose it. This must be natural wool. You guys can't feel the texture. This is incredible. This is so awesome. Man. Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh. Regina, you should not have sent this much thing. Part of a mouse pad. Oh, this is genius. This is a part of a mouse pad. And the inside is perfect for stamping. I love this pattern. It's like a chevron herringbone or something like that. Ha! Huh. Genius! Thank you so much. <laughs> and the washi tape is staying too. And then washi tape. Oh, look at that pretty. I love butterflies. So that is perfect. Oh, and metallic blue. I need to try that. This is so incredible. Regina, thank you, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. And you should not have sent this much stuff back. Now, let's see what my journal ended up like. Um, oh, this is really loaded. Okay, I can't even remember which one was the front. That's mine, I guess. Um, so if you wanted to know how I bound it, I'm going to make a tutorial anyway on uh, this journal to show you how it's um, expandable as wide as I want it. And uh, this is not the finished finishing. I will need to decorate the front cover. And uh, my page that Regina showed you in it is also not finished. Uh, thank you for putting this in there. Though it's very close, it's an incomplete page because this was a uh, very, very fast thing and what I did I had a couple of materials glued in there and she was allowed to uh, use anything so oh thank you that is so great okay I need to be showing it then this way and um, that was July 30th this is awesome. Is it some kind of napkin or transfer? This is great. The only thing I had on this page is some gesso. And um, she used, the, used it as a resist. 
Oh, this is cool. No, thank you, Regina. Thank you so much. This is a beautiful, beautiful page. And I love your colors. That is beautiful. All right, and then... <laughs> All right. So I can work on this background. And you have something saying that this is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I love the sentiment. Time goes on and on and the clockwork and the washi tape. This is perfect. And the work on the face is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Taking it back. Thank you. <laughs> Cleaning your stencils in it. It's perfect. Oh, this is too much fun. This is too awesome. All right. That's really lovely. The tiniest details. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe that I'm holding this in my hand, by the way. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. I don't have words for this. I am so lucky. <laughs> I'm so lucky to have that. That's a nice stencil. And still more. And it's a background. I can continue. Ooh, this is cool. What is this? I missed this one. I was looking for the one that you did on the video. Finally. All right. I was like, where did you put the one that... Oh. You did in the video. And here it is. And this one is so true. So this is what you can see on, on Regina's channel. Again, her channel is Turquoise Thoughts. And um, you can see the process video. And she is the master of layering. And so if you don't um, know her channel, it is absolutely uh, a must that you need to check out. Thank you so much, Regina. This is just an absolute pleasure to own your work and just look at it. Um, so I wanted to share one more thing with you that I got while I was in Hungary yet. And that is um, a package from Regina. We are doing um, a journal swap uh, with each other. And uh, she just sent this um, over to uh, my address in Hungary. Um, so as I mentioned, I did get some napkins from her. So I'm going to quickly show them to you and looks like I am going to be drawing some dragonflies because I got lots of dragonfly images now and they are beautiful. Oh, um, I've seen uh, Regina work with this napkin. But these are beautiful, beautiful napkins. Oh, overall, almost like a wallpaper. This is so cool. And favorite colors. Oh, gorgeous. And an Asian theme. Another Asian theme. These look like Japanese origami papers or maybe Zentango. Zentango flower. This reminds me of Linda Lapotka's um, card that she just made um, a while ago. But then um, I also got a um, pencil, water soluble. So I wanted to show you uh, Regina's journal. Um, this is what she sent for me and um, I just needed you to take a look at the uh, binding, how it's done. It has two signatures inside and it's closed down with a huge button. And there are little bead charms uh, added on there. And um, I'm turning it upside down back up. When you open it up, um, you will see the paper. And I just wanted to show you quickly one more time that this is like a fabric. and. Um, or it looks like fabric, yes. And then there is a piece of paper down here. 
the tassel is on top of it. I'm not sure if it's um, tissue paper decoupage on top because it, you still can see the same fabric pattern. So I'm guessing it's an extra tissue paper. And then we have uh, several stamps in black, um, blue, um, black and blue. We have some turquoise and white uh, paint on top of it. And and a photo. Um, I would love to know who are in the photo. Uh, more stamping over here. And then when I open it up, you can see the two signatures. And um, quickly, I wanted to show this page that Regina did. It looks um, very detailed. She spent a lot of time on shading around the images. And very very fine lines um, would love to know what kind of tool you use for shading how could you do these incredibly skinny lines they are really 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 skinny if you can see that and again next page it is so detailed here is another page and um, I would like to know what this paste is that you use for it. I have no idea. It looks like a metallic uh, paste and the date is June 25th. So this is more very recent work from her. <sighs> Look at these colors. Um, I don't really do color blocks like this because I can't figure out how to work the end result together. But if you look at the shading on that face. It is beautiful. There is one more page I think that she's done. And I'm not sharing what I've done so far. Oh, this one has the butterfly uh, napkin underneath. Okay, this one is this napkin underneath. So these are absolutely beautiful pages and I'm just hoping that I can create something that um, Regina you will like well that's all for today I would like to say thank you for everyone uh, who is uh, watching greeting and commenting see you soon bye bye